Hello, YouTube. Hello. I wanted to film a random evening in our night. <sighs> We're gonna go to a doodle night, maybe get a drink. Ryan's gonna dance. It's gonna be a great time. <laughs> you look like Tina. Tina. That's exactly what I was going for, Mimi. Well, you slayed that. I wanna look cute tonight, so. Come with me to get ready. Get the London look. I just washed my face because my skin has been really, really dry this winter. And every time I reapply sunscreen, it just creates these like layers of dead skin. And it's not the look. Like look at my neck. There's like spots of dead skin coming off. Ooh. I really like that feeling when you are very productive and you clean all your makeup brushes. So you have a nice new set. So exhilarating. I got these tiny about face uh, eyeshadow cream sticks and I really like them. The little minis at the end of a makeup store. That's the place I shop at. I literally spend like an hour. This makeup kind of reminds me of what I used to do when I worked at Hot Topic. Ryan? Yeah. Is this even? I can't tell. This side, your right side, other side, needs a bit more on the bottom. On the bottom? Aw, thank you. It looks even when I go straight. Oh, it is even. Ow. What is this? Oh, it's carrot ginger. Thank you. Oh. Hand-delivered pizza. You ever curled your eyelashes while eating pizza? I just devoured that pizza so fast. I love pizza, but I do feel like I had it too much in my youth. I used to work at a pizza place. I had a lot of pizza, so it's not something I get really excited for. It's just kind of like there if someone else is craving it. So yeah, don't eat your favorite food all the time or else you'll just kind of grow out of it. Thinking about my high school bully the other day and obviously she's a nurse, <laughs> but I was thinking about why did I let her be so mean to me? Like if that had happened to me now as an almost 30 year old, bitch, I would have been so fucking rude back. At my high school, we have this thing called the rotunda which is basically like a big circle that you could walk around. So you would take like walks around the rotunda with your friends, like in between classes. And my friends and I would do our little rotunda walk and my bully would just like scream out things like, Dominique, your hair is ugly. Dominique, you're so fat. And I would just like ignore her, which was actually probably the best thing to do. Just don't don't acknowledge it because you know I'm not trying to get in a fight and get kicked out and yada yada but I mean I could have just yelled back something it's crazy I wish I had told my high school self to allow myself to be a little bitchy I think I was too nice and I let people walk around all over me so if you're watching this and you're in high school there's a fine line and I think you should cross it sometimes. I got this mini uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I've been really liking it. Um, I think the full size is a little out of my budget. But I've had this for a couple of months and <laughs> it's held up. It sucks because when you're having a breakout, that's the thing you want to cover with makeup. But that's the thing you want to avoid also because you don't want to put more product on it to make it worse and it's a whole thing <clears throat> i'm just going to use a tiny bit of concealer not too much ah. Ah. ryan and i are watching mr and mrs smith i didn't think i was gonna like it because usually i don't like spy shows this one has a nice like drama and character development balance of love and it's cute. It's really cute. I'm liking it so far. Cute! No joke, I've had this bronzer for like three or four years. No, just kidding, that was a lie. I've had it for like six. I 
know that you're supposed to throw away makeup after like one or two years depending on the product but I just can't do it I feel like a shitty a shitty consumer you know I feel like it should be up to the makeup brands to make sure their products last a long time and I just can't I literally I can't throw it away this is the most influencer thing I'm ever gonna say I got this for free and it's from Clinique but I love it um the reason I haven't like posted it or anything or reached out to them is because they test on animals and I don't like to use products from companies that test on animals but they sent it for free and I'm not gonna throw it away so might as well use it I guess I don't know I'm just a girl I already have freckles but I like to add I was thinking about getting them tattooed on me but for some reason I just I can't get myself to spend the money Hey Google, play the other side, the other side, the other side of me. Oh, sorry baby. I'm so sorry. I'm horrible. I'm cringe, but I am free. Ready? It's crazy that it's sunny in Portland today. It was so foggy. It's been foggy. Okay, we made it. I'm so awkward about filming in public, but I'm trying to work on that because if I want to be a YouTuber, I gotta get used to it. So, here we go. Balik. And I didn't realize there were two locations, so we went to the one that was closer to our house. But it's far. It's okay. We'll be fashionably we'll late. Only nerds get there on time. I feel so silly to not look up the address before we left. But I'm just a girl in the world. Are you mad at me? I'm not mad. At I'm just disappointed. <laughs> you sound like my mom. You're excited? No way. It looks closed. Is today not the 13th? There's two sides. There's this side and this side. It's on this side. Oh my goodness. Look at all the hipsters. Oh, we're here. Paper in case you forgot your own and pencils in case. Yeah, I know. For sure. Blueberry? Blackberry? Blackberry? Should have peed before we left. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Wait, we have food at home. I'm tired. <sighs> the thing with alcohol is you can't just have one beer. You just end up getting sleepy. Like, what's the point? You have to either go hard or not at all. But did you have fun, Ian? Oh, I had a grand old time. It's nice to get out and draw every once in a while. Take a break from the mundane. I feel sometimes the monotony of being an artist for a living makes one, uh, it makes one uncreative. Yeah, because you're just thinking about creativity for eight hours, but it's creativity for a corporation instead of yourself. I liked it. I thought it was chill. I was also like, damn, I could draw at home. Why don't I just doodle? In my free time. Well, exactly. See, you don't. So that's why it's nice to go to an event where they're like, come here and doodle. Yeah. <laughs> like, do the thing. And when you see other people doing the thing, I think socially we're like, oh, I must do the thing that I said I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to type in vegan burger. Vegan burger. Um, burger. And we're just going to see what pops up. Um... 
What do you think? Can you help us? Because we're indecisive. On the bottom of your staircase, so start out for hours as you. I don't know what to do. Let's go to a random spot on Alberta. You are the only one who thought of us that way. The results are in. We are going out. Come home with me. What's that fucking song? Baby, it's cold outside. Like rap song? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a creepy man. That's true. I think it's been a pretty successful night. We drew, we draw, we drank, we saw. How many thoughts about. Oh, oh. Do I have any thoughts? Uh, oh, sorry. My hair. Uh, do you see what I have to put up with? Do you say? Nothing but love. A little annoying. A little annoying, but lovable. Okay, let me ask you a question. What was your favorite part about tonight? Finally drawing. I haven't been drawing in a while, and it was good to be in a neutral, new situation and draw. You drew really good tonight. I loved your cherub. Thank your you. drawing of garnet, impeccable. I feel like the thing with art is no one's good at it. <laughs> you just have to keep practicing until you're good. You're never truly good. You can because you could always get better. Exactly. Like you could literally look at. Picasso's blue period and be like, oh my god, that's amazing. But like that was some of his early works He didn't really get good until he was like 40 or something Get good kid side note. I saw a video the other day that said if you and your partner watch TV together That's not a hobby That's just something you do together and that struck a chord with me because I would consider myself watching TV as a hobby but it really isn't if you think about it. It's just something that humans do at the end of the day. So I want to have more hobbies. I have secured the package. He secured the goods. The Daddy, goods have been I miss my dog. I just have one more question for you about tonight. Will you be my valentine? <laughs> I like how you put it in your pants. Yeah. Will you be my valentine? You finally asked me. Now I don't have to auction you off. What do you mean auction me <laughs> off? Don't look at the label. This oh, I did remember seeing this in the mail. And Martin's like, don't look at that. Stop, I'm going to cry. You did not. Did you really? Oh my god, it's so cute! What the fuck? It's hella knotted. Oh my god. Is it really knotted? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> All knotted. You're so stinky. Stop, it's so cute. Look at her. We're gonna go make out now. Bye.